Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Ryan. And we are the Unpredictable Weather Guys. Today we're out here with our new professional weather center and we're very excited about this here at the, uh, at the Institute. And this is the Model 1500. It comes with our 5-in-1 uh, uh, sensor package. And this uh, is 5-in-1 because it has, it has um, temperature, humidity, wind speed, wind direction, and rainfall. We've been working on this for a while. It, the, the sensor package has some extra additional features. It gives you the little bubble level for making it easy to mount and get it nice and level. It uh, has the solar panel for pulling airflow through. There's a fan in there that the, the, the solar panel runs that pulls air through the unit to make sure that it gets a better uh, temperature readings and uh, yeah, nice ambient air, air ambient air reading, temperature yeah. and the humidity uh, readings. And then it's got this removable debris screen so you can get the debris out of there. That back down in there and, uh, and then it comes with this nice display unit um, Ryan can you tell us a little bit there's just everything on this thing right you betcha it's got everything the uh, weather enthusiasts needs it's a professional weather center for a reason um, right up top we have all of your most viewed information nice and big easy to see from a distance um, on the left there you'll see we've got the wind speed peak and uh, below that the wind speed average and then in the middle we have a rosette with your wind direction and as you can see it gives you the current wind direction where the wind is coming out of but a really nice feature is it gives you the last couple of readings as well so when it gets really windy out this thing will kind of wag around sometimes because of gusty winds and um, this will give you a better idea of really where the wind direction is coming from by giving you those last two readings you can get a better idea so um, it just gives you the mental picture of okay, exactly. when when's sort of coming from this direction, right? Because of the uh, the last couple of markers. Exactly, it's pretty cool. And then uh, next to that, we have our outdoor temperature and humidity, and it also has a uh, trend arrow which will indicate whether or not the temperature is rising, steady, or falling. And the same for the uh, outdoor humidity. And then below that, we have our rainfall window, and. Um, Right up top, that gives you a rainfall event, which I think is pretty neat. Instead of it just focusing on a time period, it really tracks a, a particular rainfall event. Because you may have a rainstorm that comes in and, and, and starts at 7 p.m. and doesn't let up for, you know, till 6 o'clock the next day. Sure, sometimes. they can linger around for a while. Yeah, it might drizzle a little and then rain hard again. And you don't want to treat those as all separate events. It's hard to really tell how much rain you got then. Right. So this gives you, you know, one reading per event. It's really neat. And then below that, you have your monthly rainfall total and your all-time total. So you, you can tell what the rain, uh, what rainfall you've gotten since, since you've plugged the unit in and powered it up. Uh, below that, of course, we have your uh, time and date information for current time and date. And then in the middle here, you'll see where it says outdoor temp. That's your weather category display area. And for each selected category, you have options. You have your low and high alarms in most cases. Um, and then you'll have your records for all time or just today, which is shown right now. You'll see our daily low and high for outdoor temp. And uh, if you push this history mode button, it'll give you your all time low record and when that, what date and time that was set and your all time high record and the date and time that that was set. You say the button, but these are actually the uh, yeah, these are the touch, sense buttons. touch buttons. So that you're not actually pushing a button in. There's nothing really to clean the dust That's out really of. That's really slick cool it's got a cool look to now, it now we also have the pressure and forecasting information here in the middle as well yep we've got your pressure with a plain text readout of whether it's rising steady or falling that'll help give you an idea what the weather's going to be doing and then of course our 14-day uh, learning mode and patented forecasting which over the next 14 days will start to uh, really narrow in on what your weather for your backyard is going to be doing for the next 12 to 24 hours and it gives you just a nice little icon to, to display that. Now what's this area over here on the edge? That would be the weather select window and that is um, more information. You got your heat index, your dew point, your wind chill, your indoor temperature, humidity, and your rainfall rate. And your telephone. Yeah. And, uh, and you just push that, that touch that touch button and it'll go through and show you all that information. And down at the bottom, my favorite feature, it's just kind of neat, it's the weather ticker. And that'll give you all this extra information from your backyard when it's relevant the most and just a plethora of information. So this gives you like your all-time highs, your all-time lows. Moon phase. Moon phase. Any, any interesting data weather points tidbits that, that are new. Yeah. Gotcha. And it also give you your uh, feels like temperature will scroll across there. 
Uh, now, what this feels like? That's like a, it's a combination of a number of things that really gives you how, how the temperature is going to feel to you on your skin outside. So it's, it's taken into a consideration a lot of different things. So it's like temperature, humidity, wind speed, all that stuff gets boiled down into a, a what, what it's going to be like when you go outside. Yeah. And this weather ticker, um, you can you can customize it. You can add and remove things yeah, so that if, if you don't need to see, you know, like right now it's showing outdoor temp this week high. It's going to give you your highest temperature recorded this week, which is pretty cool. But if you don't care about that, you can go ahead and remove that from the scroll. And next time it runs around, you won't see that. Now you can add it back in any time, of course. But it really allows you to customize what that ticker is going to say to you. Now we've got some alarm capability on this guy as well, right? That's right. You've got a high and low alarm, and there's a storm alarm, which is really neat. Um, when you go to storm alarm, it it will alert you when there's a rapid pressure drop. So you're These not are all different types of alarms. You get rainfall alarm. Yeah, a lot of different alarm, alarms. Dew point alarm, wind chill alarm. And you can just customize those to any number you tent. want within the range. Oh. There's a storm alarm. Yeah, so if you turn that on, which is simply just to touch that, you'll see a little bell shows up on the display by the pressure. And that next time you get a huge pressure drop, that'll alert you. Because that huge pressure drop indicates that something's coming. Impending big, big storm, you know. So, and that and kind of a thing would come across on this lower exactly. display as well. All of this stuff will, will come across on the weather ticker as well. And then um, another neat thing that this allows you to do, because it is a professional weather center, you're allowed to uh, calibrate this temperature if you feel that it's a, a little off in your area due to, you know, maybe you have it close to some concrete surfaces or something, you don't want that affecting it or something. You can actually calibrate Best this. not to mount this near something that's going to be putting off heat exactly. or humidity, like a pool. Exactly. But uh, yeah, So this will allow you to calibrate can. that. Sure. So. Uh, yeah, it's a really, really great product. I think it's it's got a lot of cool features. It's it's the it's the meat and potatoes of the weather features right. for the for now the this, true enthusiasts. Now this has the backlight capability. It's hard to see here in the in the bright sunlight. It's got battery compartment, holds batteries, runs on batteries, but then it also comes with the uh, AC adapter, so mm -hmm. that you can, if you want to have it, not worry about the batteries going dead on you. You can have that plugged in, and it'll. Uh, run, you can have the backlight on all the time. Yep. Then if you want to have that great nice bright blue viewing. backlight on it. Nighttime viewing, exactly. And uh, the unit comes with a mounting stand uh, for post or pole mounting, or you can use a piece of Schedule 40 pipe, three quarter inch. To, plastic's uh, probably better. Plastic's better, yeah. You don't want to put up a big lightning rod. <laughs> um, so, anyways, that's the Professional Weather Center. This is the Model 1500, and uh, you should check it out. It's a it's a great new product. Yes, We're it really is. excited about it. Uh, there's nothing like it on the market at the price point that this thing comes in at. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm.